Who's seen this logo before? Raise your hand. Right? We've got one person. Anyone know what Jiggle is? No. We've got another one. That's a friend. That doesn't count. <laughs> so Jiggle is an app. Jiggle was a messaging app that connected people from Androids and iPhones in a time where BlackBerry was the king of mobile messaging. This was back two years ago. And to me, this is the greatest success of my life. Now you may be asking yourself, how is this a success? I don't know about it. No one here knows about it. How is this a success? So I'm going to give you a little background information on Jiggle, just so you understand where, what success really means. So I was studying uh, for a master's degree in finance in DC about two years ago. This was 2011. And I came up with this great idea. You know, let's, let's do a messenger where we could have Facebook accounts instead of numbers and pins. You know, just use your Facebook account. Everyone I know is on Facebook. So let's just use it with Facebook. After a week or two, you know, it was simmering in my mind. And I said, you know what? This is actually a great idea. I'm going to go for it. First problem was I'm not a programmer, right? I had this great idea. I studied finance and economics, but I never programmed before. So I went on to look for a programmer. Found many development companies uh, in the US, but none in DC. I wanted one in DC because this was a very passionate thing for me. This was my baby. I wanted to be near it. I found this programmer, this development company, and they assured me, you know, we can build Jiggle for you. I said, excellent, that's all I need. A working prototype. Second thing is money. How are you going to build this? So uh, I put my finance skills to, to use, and I wrote up uh, about a 20-page business plan. Uh, and I did the first thing anyone does when they want to open up a business, when you need money. You go to your friends and family. Pause here. Uh, my grandfather had a great saying. It said, God gave you your family. Thankfully, he let you choose your friends. <laughs> he was a very loving man. He loved his family. Anyhow, after a month of negotiation and, uh, and talking to every member of my family, I, I convinced two people in my family to invest in this project. Uh, and then I signed the papers with a development company. This was in March 2011. And I paused and I smiled. I said, this is my first tech company. I can't believe I'm doing this. Everyone's doing this. I, you know, I'm actually doing it. Great. So there was very little I could do. Um, I'm not the programmer. Uh, I had to wait those six months that they said it was going to take to develop Jiggle. And there was one problem. It wasn't called Jiggle back then. It was called Blip. And I didn't like the name. So what are we going to call this expression of creativity, of hard work and innovation? I started searching for names. I went to GoDaddy.com and I started to search for domain names. And everything was taken. I wanted a short name, something that you could verbalize, something that you can say in every language. And I remember being in a statistics class and wasn't, I stopped paying attention after about two weeks into my, my project, to any of my education. Um, and I was frustrated by this. I found a name that I liked. It was called Jiggle. And guess what? It was taken. But this frustrated me. So I looked for the, the owner of Jiggle in the database. And well, lo and behold, the owner, Mr. Patel, lived a mile away from me in DC. Coincidence, maybe. I email Mr. Patel, ask him if you're interest, interested in selling. He replies that same day, says, no way. So I was pretty bummed out. Go to sleep that night, could barely get any sleep. Uh, I got these ideas in my mind of how, what, what else I can name and what else, what else. And I woke up that morning and he said, you know what? I, I went jiggle. I didn't take no for an answer. I looked for his address and I bought that morning, two cups of coffee. 
I went up to this guy's apartment and knocked on his door. I introduced myself. I say, Mr. Patel, I'm Meyer, the guy from the email. I'm here to have some coffee with you. By the end of the coffee, Jiggle.com was under my name. Um, and I did not pay $20,000 for it. In fact, not even $500. Um, this was pure motivation and uh, you know, transference of, of sentiment to somebody else. Uh, and that, number one, is one of the greatest success and proof that you don't need money to get what you want. You need ambition. Um, so that was, you know, that was a story for the name. It doesn't mean anything. It's just catchy. That's, that's all. So August comes by. We're nearing launch. And guess what? Jiggle isn't ready. I'm freaking out. I've taken money from my family. I've invested time and effort for over six months in this project. And guess what? It's not ready. It doesn't look like it's going to be ready. It doesn't feel ready. And these developers, they weren't showing me any assurance either. I felt powerless. I could not influence them whatsoever. They weren't, didn't work for me. And they didn't feel the same ambition that I felt for this, the same purpose. It, why would they work after five? It's, it's not their project. It's you know, you know, their boss's pro project. So that became problem number one in my mind. I said, this has got to change. August 25th came by, and we launched Jiggle. It wasn't perfect. In fact, it had a lot of bugs. But guess what? Jiggle was a success. People loved it. I, to my surprise, people loved it. I didn't understand why. We launched it here in Panama. And we had a launch party. And everyone was downloading it. And they were like, wow, this is easy. You just sign in with Facebook. No one, you know, username, password, no nothing. This is great. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did you see how fast the messages went through? They're like, no, but this eye, I love the eye. The eye, the eye was a shut eye that would open up when someone would read your message, just to notify you that they read the message. It's just a little you know, flimsy thing I came up with. And no one cared for the speediness of the app. They cared for the coolness of the eye. So they loved it for the most unexpected reasons. Um, that's probably a lesson in what and how you, know, you find success in the things you're not even uh, focusing on. So after launching, I decided, you know what? We're going to have our own team. So it took me about two months, but I ended up assembling probably the most talented and ambitious, dri ambition-driven team in Latin America. Uh, we were building Jiggle because we had a purpose. We had a belief that we could connect people no matter where you are or what phone you're using. These people, these, this team I built wasn't motivated by money. They were motivated by purpose. And for two years, we programmed and programmed, and we developed features and fixes and every single way that would make this app better. Well, we had to stop developing after some time because uh, Jiggle, well, didn't become the popular messenger that we wanted it, we expected it to become. Um, we had a lot of contenders, and well, we lost our window of opportunity, so we stopped because we had an even bigger idea, which we're working on now. So why is this successful? Because it was only when I embraced failure that I understood that this was not failure. This was a success. I had an idea. I took a risk, and even when, I was a, when things got hard, I stuck to it. So how's that failure? Seems that society has an understanding of failure. Maybe it comes of, of, uh, of uh, success. It comes from money, popularity. But we have to value more our significance of, fa of success. And it's in reaching out to our objectives, taking those risks that we want to take and doing what we want to do.
it weren't for Jiggle, hash would not be a work in progress. This project, in fact, with only three weeks in production, won third place just two weeks ago in Google. Um, and it was the only project that wasn't from the US. And it was the only project that had zero users. And in fact, wasn't even in any app store. Hash brings privacy back to messaging. And after that, after that third place, all the calls came in. VCs, accelerators, everything changed. But we weren't thinking about that. We're thinking about something that we want for ourselves. And hopefully, it'll make you want it too. If it weren't for Jiggle, hash would not exist. Same way, uh, if it weren't for Bourbon, Kevin Systrom would not have created Instagram. If it weren't for Napster, Sean Parker would not have helped build Facebook. So look at this symbol. It is not an app. You look at it, and you look at it today, and it is a symbol of perseverance, of success. Even though it didn't become the viral hit that we all look for in technology, it was successful in that it was the predecessor to something even greater. And that is success. We all have a jiggle in us. Take that risk. It might fail, it might not. But if you pursue it, you persevere, I assure you, you will succeed. Thank you.